guys and welcome back to another video today we're going to be doing a from black to red hair color tutorial using no bleach these are the products that you are going to need let's go ahead and get into it so I'm using two boxes of the L'Oreal high color in the shade red I also have another box that I used of magenta um, basically did it the exact same way you're gonna see me do it now I'm going to open up the um, color using the top to puncture the opening and squeeze both into my mixing bowl. Now I'm going to add my developer. I didn't show you guys which one I was using because this was provided by my school, but I am using the Matrix 30 volume developer and the instructions on the color call for 2.4 ounces of developer per box. So I did use two boxes, meaning I used 4.8 ounces of 30 volume developer in total. My squeeze bottle has measurements on the side, so it was easy for me to measure it out. Make sure you guys are following the directions on your hair color to make sure you're mixing the right ratios. So now that I have everything blended in, I'm going to just mix everything together, making sure to really mix this uh, color together because you don't want any lumps, you don't want any clumps, you don't want any bumps because that will all show on the hair as you're applying it if you have clumps and balls of color mixed in and not mixed properly. So just take your time and mix the color properly. Um, it may take you a couple minutes, but I promise you it'll be worth it. Before I start applying the color, I want to go in and section off the hair just so that everything is as neat as possible. So I'll be doing four sections in total. I'm sectioning off the closure uh, part completely by itself. I'll do that separately. And then I'm going to separate the back section, which are the sewn in bundles. Um, I will be doing three sections in the back, two on each side and one in the middle. Starting with the section in the middle, in the back, I am going to go track by track, row by row, and this just makes things easier. Um, it lets me be very thorough to make sure every piece of hair has color applied to it. One little tip um, for you guys when you're coloring curly hair, you want to make sure you pull the hair taut as you see me doing right now. This just stretches out the curls so that way the color applies more evenly because if you apply color to curly hair and it's like in its curled you know shrunken kind of state you're not really gonna be applying it to all of the cracks and crevices um, of the curly hair so you want to make sure that you obviously detangle the section and pull that hair stretch it very tautly so that way it's seamless the color will be seamless and it'll um, be applied to every single uh, curl every single piece of hair um, now this is very self-explanatory guys so I'm not gonna do much more talking um, I'll probably pop back in later when I need to explain something but this I'm gonna do the same thing throughout the entirety of the head as you see I'm applying color to the top section as well as the bottom section and I'm also smoothing it at the end my teacher always says we don't have to smooth but it's just a habit so I smooth anyway um, but yes I'm gonna do this throughout the entirety of the head and I'll pop back in once there is something I guess more exciting going on. Yeah. 
couple of classic uh, caps right now that is to help with processing um, the color now if I was playing if I was applying color to a human you would not need the processing caps because humans produce body heat which in turn helps process the color faster better whatever um, but this is a wig and she's not producing nobody heat so I did add the caps to help process the color a little bit more and again we're not using bleach so it's just to kind of help get as uh, vibrant of a color as I possibly can have reached the end of our hair coloring so I am now putting all of the hair into the plastic caps and I will probably just let this process for about an hour um, I think my class ended up going on lunch break so I let her sit for an hour but as soon as I got back this is what the results were looking like fresh from just the color so now I'm going to go ahead and rinse all of this out give her a quick um, shampoo and a quick condition and we'll get into some styling. Now we are at the shampoo bowl and as I said in the previous clip, I am going to give her a light wash and a light condition. This is very important. Usually after color, a lot of people don't shampoo, but um, I needed to give her a quick shampoo. If you have to do that, that's fine. Please make sure you are using cold water. Use cold water. Cold, cold, cold water is so important after rinsing out a color because what it does is cold water will seal the hair cuticles and lock in the color. If I were to come over to the shampoo bowl after doing all that work and put on scolding hot or even warm water, the color is just going to fall away. It's just gonna fall away. So the color looks absolutely gorgeous. This is exactly what I was going for. Um, I was going for something that was subtle, but just enough, you know what I mean? Um, and now we're gonna go ahead and style her up. I'm gonna keep her in her natural curls. We're not gonna use any heat or anything like that aside from my blow dryer. So what you see me doing right now is I'm going through and completely wetting the hair, uh, re-wetting her after I dried her. Um, re-wetting her up and then going in and applying some mousse um, to all of the curls making sure to separate the curls so that they are all popping um, and then I'm gonna go in with my diffuser just to create some volume um, and then I'll do the same thing for the closure um, on the top Sick 
thick ass mouth and a slick ass flow. Got your bitch around me, nigga, and I'm playing when I'm coming for the kitty. Got my soul, goddamn. Do it for my niggas in the coast right there. Do it for my niggas in the ghost right now. Niggas got killed for the boy, living dreams in the hills, and they watching for the boy right now. Goddamn, what a time, what a year. Uh, we are what them young boys feel. Uh, I kill, never be killed, that's real, no lie. You can tell that from my peers right now. Don't you wanna fuck me now? Don't you wanna love me now? Girl, you can't tie me down like Ray J said, but no, I'm down. Freaking nigga, show me something. Stick it like it on me something. Pushing on a pussy like a button. Game for a time, big time, you go. Still getting rowdy in the front. Bitches on my dick like it's nothing. Everywhere I go now, always got shit. Rumping, jumping, rumping, jumping. Hey, nice to meet. Hey, who you be? Y'all got peace. It's a peace. You can literally see how much of a difference the diffuser makes. Had I let her dry regular without using a diffuser, the curls would have still been there. They would have still been popping, so to speak. But the volume, there would be no volume. It would have just dried very flat. So if you're if you're curling hair, I highly do, even if it's a wig, your own hair, I recommend using a diffuser because I love how big she is. We have made it to the top now, and I'm gonna follow the exact same steps that I did in the back. I'm gonna soak her up, and then I'm gonna apply the Care Care um, mousse that you guys saw in the previous clip. I At first, I was gonna do a middle part. As you see here, there is a middle part, but I kind of decided at the end to kind of switch it up and do a flip over kind of style, um, and that's what we ended up going with. But the process, the products that I used, the diffusing, all of that was exactly the same. I just decided to split up the back and the front but um, you guys will see exactly how the results came out. Obviously, we're gonna lay down the hairline. I'm using a wax stick and just an old trusty hot comb just to smooth everything down. A little bit of hairspray with the hot comb really does help keep that hair in place, kind of locks it hard in place. And she's gonna be all done. I'm absolutely obsessed. I love how this color came out. You guys, I have gotten so many compliments on this wig and on this color, and I think it was a thousand percent worth it. So if you're looking to change up a unit, if you have a black unit that you wanna kinda add some pizzazz to, I definitely recommend trying out this black to red tutorial. That's all for me today, you guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Leave any questions down below, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.